Right, I'm just up the wood. 17th of January 2019. We're halfway through January already. There's a ranger's van here. And uh, they're busy doing stuff. Well, they could be archaeologists. <sighs> Look how much they've cleared. Look. Looks like it's been shaved. It's showing the features more and more now, look. If you compare these to when it's, at, when it's covered in... Um, I mean, they've done it at the right time, winter, when everything's died back. It's about uh, quarter past four now in the afternoon. It'd be dark in... Well, by five it'd be dark. This is... Um, Whirlbury Woods Hill Fort, Iron Age Fort. And they're revealing more of the, I think what they would say is defensive structures. Of course you've got the the pits, the grain pits and burial pits beyond. So the, yeah, I was just going to turn off take some pictures. Right, carrying on from the other tape I just did a minute ago. Someone's been up here with a strimmer really getting rid of all the the growth. It will grow back. Um, let's say put poison on it to reveal the defensive structures. Look. Vellums I think they're called. Or something like that. I remember from the Romans they had vellums like deep ditches and, and big mounds as a defense and this up here would probably be the main fort up here it's a lovely peaceful January the 17th by the way some people are going to get snow and it's supposed to get colder after tonight then warmer again just, it's, it's just weird the weather this, this year is so weird you wouldn't think it was January you know it's like spring already the trees must be so bewildered some of them are under threat because of these people who are doing archaeology it's either the archaeologists or the historians up here doing it they, they are allowed to, but you, other people aren't allowed to touch the stones. You can get done for it. You try and build a structure, that looks like a hut. That's what the historians do. And people playing war games. Yeah, they'll sign up and get a £1,000 fine for touching the stones. I wonder what those, are, what those archaeologists are up to. There might be something going on down there. So here we here we are, folks. I've been talking about the hill fort for quite a few years now, at least a good, good ten years. Yes, yeah, since two thousand and eight. Yeah, I've been talking about these. I've been coming up here since I moved in Weston. This was where I, I come a lot. I come here for peace and quiet and reflection. I came up here when I, as soon as I knew David Bowie had died and other people I, I, I this is sort of a place though this is a place of peace now it was not always there was a lot of slaughter up here a lot of war apparently a lot of fighting between the tribes moon's out yeah, what well, I'm going to do, I'm going to walk through the woods, come out down the bottom end and then walk back. I'm not going to go back down that way. I was just, just going to do a small one. But I think I needed the air much. This morning I had to walk along a busy road to get a parcel. And I had to breathe in all the fumes. So I thought, no, let's get up in the wood to clear the lungs again. Yeah, they're clearing like crazy air. Yeah. Some of my favourite trees are very unstable now. All this has been scratched back, look. I mean, it is interesting to see the different features, I must admit. But they're, they're going like... I mean, it is interesting. It can grow back. 
you know, but some of my trees, I, I've got pictures of that tree for the last 10 years, that one there, and they've cut its vines. So it's unstable now. See, there's one falling over there. But that tree, it looks sad as well because the vines are dying, have died. It used to be grand, like it, like it had a big long beard, that tree. <sighs> And beyond it, they found another big hole. See, look. They found another big pit down there. But that tree there, he looked like he had a big, like the king of the, of the forest. He might not fall over. So, four up there. And then we go further down. All this could have been... Well, this is lots and lots of grain pits here. I'm not going to do it now because there's not enough light, but I, I expect they've done a lot over there. They've been doing quite a bit of stuff. I don't know where they are now, the rangers. They've left their... Well, they might even be like um, archaeology... Um, people that measure surveyors. Yeah, because all this... Wow. Let's just go over to get a picture of the pier a minute from here. Yeah, well, this has been stripped. More grain holes. Yeah, I won't go all the way down now. Yeah, more grain holes. Look, there's another one there. They're all over the place. It could be burial holes as well. But down there is Weston's Grand Pier. See? There's a pier there. Quiet this time of year. And there's another big ridge going along there. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to allow these trees to stay up. See, they've all got beards and they've, it's like they've been cut back, you know. It's like old grey beards of the f wood. But you can see all the pits as I survey more. See all the pits. Look, look at the size of that one. I don't think I've ever come across this one before. It's massive, isn't it? That's a big pit, that. Then they're darted all over, see? And there's some lovely trees here. Lovely trees. As long as they don't intend to build on here. Imagine that. The council are pretending they're doing conservation. We're actually there preparing the ground to build on. You can imagine it, can't you? This day, and I doubt it, but you, can, you never know anymore. Nothing's really protected. They'd find the money somewhere. <sighs> yeah, some of these trees are really big. Look at that one. Great big tree. Beautiful tree. There's one gone down over there. Freshly green. Look at that one. He's had his day. Oh, they, I wonder if they find anything when they scour. Yeah, and there's my, this is the, this might, I'm not quite sure where the fort would have been. That could have still been the defences up there. And this might have been the, like the bailey of a castle. They have a wide open space, you see. Because back a hundred odd years ago, there weren't trees up here anyway. This was pasture land. And you can see walls every now and again where they, they used to enclose the sheep. Right, we're just going to turn off again in a minute, take some pictures of the trees. Right. Leaving the hill fort. Like I was just saying a minute ago, they'll clear all this eventually. What they do is strip back all this vegetation. You see this ivy and that. 
and they'll, they'll, go, they'll go right the way through here. But you anything, that's the plan. Then the, what they do, they might let it grow back. They'll just take lots and lots of photographs, do lots and lots of measurements. Because a lot of the archaeology, they cover it up again. And sometimes you don't even have to do any digging. they got these um, special penetrating technological tools now that can get in, you know. So anyway, it's be dark in a minute. I'm walking down through a little bit of wood now. Then I'll come out. I'll come out. This is one one path I use. There's another smaller one over there. I sometimes use more in the daytime. And you can see the coast over there, over to um, Sandpoint. Yeah, there's um, as you can see, there's several trees around that have still got their beards, I call them. There's one there. He's probably had it trimmed now. That one there is quite a good example of a lovely tree with this big beard. And they've pruned it, they've cut all around it. You know, they're doing it to the, all, oh, they're shaving their beards off, basically. Yeah, I don't often do an evening walk. I mean, evening these days, there's um, anything from half past three to five o'clock, you see. <laughs> It'll be dark in very soon. It'll be dark very soon. I have walked up here um, on my own before. Just got to turn off, take a picture of that tree a minute.